Okay, Jeff Varner. You know, I watched you play this game 15 years ago, and now you get your second chance to go out there and play again. Uh, you didn't make it as far, but I think you played a better game this time around. Thank Would you. Would you agree with Thank that? Thank you. Yes, I hoped. You know, that was – I wanted to. Mm-hmm. You know, I didn't really – all the strategies that I had going out there sort of went out the window once I got there. And <laughs> I sort of let go and let God. I just flew by the seat of my pants, went with, by my intuition and my instinct and – it all worked out. I'm just really honored to be part of it and grateful it turned out the way it did. I don't care that I did come out for it. I feel like I've put two seasons worth of gameplay out there in four episodes, and it's important for me to deliver for all those people who voted me in. Right. It, I don't think – you did not disappoint your fans. I think you were worried about that at Tribal Council. But as as someone as, as to who voted for you to come back, which I did, did you, you did not disappoint at all. I appreciate that. Thank you. That's good yeah. to hear. Um, and the pitch you gave at Tribal Council, it, it brought up something in my mind that I think there's a flaw with this game where you can make a, a great grand pitch like that, but since the players aren't given time, you know, to chat about what they just heard, they go in there thinking, you know, as an alliance, they go in there thinking, we're going to vote out Jeff. So no matter what you did at Tribal Council, I don't think they – they didn't. They weren't given time to chat about that. Do you think that's a fault of the game that you know that these great pitches people make really don't do anything? Well, I think in some situations it can play a role, but you know when you're injured and you're going to every single tribal council because you just keep losing, it's an easy argument to make that you've got to keep the physically healthy people together. And I was out of shape and not on the same level with everybody physically without the injury and the injury I had was pretty intense the editing didn't do it justice I mean I I couldn't walk right and it was uncomfortable and my toe was black and purple and my foot was all swollen and it was wrapped up and I couldn't hide it I couldn't walk with them I couldn't keep up with them and it was just an easy choice to make and they knew going into that tribal that I was out and I knew that I was out but I also knew that millions of people voted me in there, and I was going to fight from the minute I landed on that beach to the minute I left that tribal council, and it didn't matter what they were going to do. What was important to me is that the fans at home who voted for me got what they wanted, got what they expected. Mm -hmm. And so I fought right up till the last minute. And Wu wouldn't shut up. It's like that boy didn't talk for 11 damn days, and on this last minute you decide you're going to fight? Where have you been? (laughs) <laughs> so irritated with him and proud of him all at the same time. Right. How's the I think today? Wu was more scared than I was. Wu was scared or more scared last night than I was. Yeah, he looked kind of scared there watching it. Um, how How was your injury today? When was this? Two months ago? Um, I know it was in June. I think when it actually happened, and it took me. You know, right up till the first of July before I could walk without a limp mm, and get wow. a shoe on without any kind of pain, and the toenail just fell off last week. Oh wow! So it's it's full circle now. I'm good now. Everything's fine now. But it hurt and it hurt and it hurt, and then it got numb. And I thought there for a moment that I'd lost the circulation in it, and the numbness was painful, and it, it took a while. Mm-hmm. It took a, a long while, but. You know, I'm okay today. Okay, let's talk about the tribe switch. You went into this at a four to two advantage. Mm-hmm. What happened? It started last Abby week with PG, happened. and now Abby it was happened. Abby, wasn't it? Yeah. What What could Abby you have done differently to to make to make Abby stay with you guys? Um, I wish that I had probably switched over to Tasha and Andrew earlier, because mm-hmm. I knew Abby was going that way. There was no. That's the only move she could have made. She had a choice between Andrew and Tasha, who were promising her a fresh start, or PG and Wu, who have already voted for her twice and were trying to get rid of her and fought with her even. So Abby had a lot of pain with those two and a lot of promise with the other two. And so she did what she needed to do for her game, and I don't blame her for that. And I appreciate her loyalty in telling me what she was doing. She could have just done it. I wish she had been a little bit more aggressive in trying to keep me from getting voted out. And had I not got hurt, maybe she would have. Who knows? But the injury was easy. 
The previous two, yeah, the previous two uh, cast offs I talked to, Shireen and and PG, they had some not so nice things to say about Abby Maria. Where do you right. stand with her today? Are you is, is there a friendship? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't have any animosity with her. You know, I have nothing but love in my heart for my entire cast. I really do. We shared this experience, and I'm very grateful. And I'd love to do it all over again on vacation with all of them. <laughs> I, any, I mean, I, I don't respect a handful of them, but I don't hate them. Um, Abby is fine. Abby is my fault. She made it as far in that game as she did because of me. She was able to be in that game and screw me in the end because of me. I could have voted her out, and I didn't, and I deserve what I got. <laughs> That's how I look at it. Uh, I'm kind of bummed you didn't get to play with Kimmy, your old uh, your Australian buddy. Um, are, you, are you kind of bummed you guys didn't get to do much together? Uh, yes, although I'm a little afraid of what Kimmy Tubbs could have turned into. I think she probably would have really screwed me over if she had the chance. Mm. I was a little more um, in the mind frame of helping her. I wanted her to do well um, because, you know, the longer you're in, the more money you win, and I wanted her to do well. But um, I love Kimmy. I don't have any animosity to her whatsoever, and I hope she does well in this game. Right. You know, we're at Gold Derby, we're a prediction website. Most of our players are predicting that Kelly Wentworth is going to win. Do you think that's a good prediction, or, or do you think someone else is going to win this thing? Well, I think that Kelly Wentworth is in a great spot. I mean, she's mm. liked by everybody. She's with the right people. She's physical. She's fun. Um, you like hanging out with her. Plus, she's got that idol in her pocket, which, you know, I think that's a that's a good bet to make. Mm-hmm. Um, let's talk about your original season, the Australian Outback, one of those iconic seasons. And people can buy it on DVD. I, I actually own that one on DVD. Um, <laughs> so do I. Oh, yeah. How many times have you watched it, to be honest? Um, not many. You know, I, I watched mm. it years ago. And I think like a year and a half ago, I pulled it out one night when I was drinking <laughs> and just sort of relived <laughs> those moments for a minute. Which was nice. So many, but yeah, so many of those players have returned in future seasons. Who, who from your Australian season hasn't come back, but you think would make you know really good TV and should come back? Um, you know what? I think they're all there. I think they've all done it. Hmm. I don't know that there's anybody they haven't chosen who could come in and really. I don't know. That's a hard question to answer. I don't know. You know, it's been 15 years, so, like, we're all very different people today. So, who knows? Who right. knows? But I hope that maybe I help kind of lay some groundwork for old schoolers from way back when that, you know, we can oh, be yeah. good and we can be good TV. And when you're looking to cast these seasons, you should go back a little deeper. Yeah, it actually gave me, you know, an idea that they should do Survivor, colon, old school versus new school. And just have, well, they you know, did some that people from year. season one. Yeah, they kind of did it. They just right. didn't call it that. Right, yeah. yeah. And, and was there anything that happened this, this season that, that didn't make it onto TV, like a, a fun story or, or an experience you had that, that didn't make the cut? Gosh, so much. I mean, so much happened. I farted in Abby Maria's face, mm -hmm. and I was so sad that didn't make the air. I was very happy with that moment in time. It was kind of sad. <laughs> Sorry, I know that's not appetizing conversation. But, uh -huh. um, there's so much that happened that didn't hit the air, you know, and so many people uh, who I feel like their true personas didn't quite make TV, but, you know, mm -hmm. there are reasons for everything, and it's kind of hard when you've got three days' worth of material and 40 minutes to cram it all into. You've got to kind of simplify it as most, you know. That's, right. that's a job, quite a job for the producers. But you're happy with your edit the way you came out? Oh, yeah, very happy. I'm so lucky. I mean, it happened as I remember it happened. I don't think they lifted me up in any way. I think they captured my days as I remembered them. 
with the exception of, you know, a little bit of stuff that went down at Ancor. There were some things that were hidden and, you know, some different things there. But, you know, I'm very pleased, very happy. I'm very lucky. Not easy to go on Survivor these days mm. and get a good edit, and I feel like I got a good one. <laughs> nice. Well, it was so fun watching you all these years later. Um, we hope to see you at the reunion show here in a, a month or two. I'll be there. All right. Have a good day, Jeff. Thank you. You too. Bye.